Hello there, guys. Welcome back to a short online tutorial. Today, we're based in Adobe Photoshop. And yet again, it's your good friend Jack from Blue Sky Graphics back again to show you some cool stuff. What I want to do today, guys, is show you this really cool uh, gradient map effect within Adobe Photoshop. A really futuristic, really aesthetically pleasing kind of design and idea that you can use across many forms of images. And trust me when I say it's just a couple of steps that you need to follow to create such an effect. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just take our top layer here, just press backspace to delete and start off with our original image. Now, what we need to do first of all is, is you go to filter, liquify. And what I'm going to do with the liquify option is you come through here and use our forward warp tool. Keep the size around 900, density at 50 and pressure at 100. I'm just going to come to the right side of our uh, gentleman here wearing a gas mask. And I'm just going to come through and just create and warp like little effects like so, just by clicking and dragging with your mouse. Yeah. Like so. And now let's press OK. All right. So now what we need to do is apply the gradient map effect itself. OK, so what I'm going to do is come to the adjustment layers here and come down to the bottom and we have gradient map. The benefits of gradient maps are is that they apply a gradient, but they map the image below. But what I would like to do is change the actual colors of this gradient. So I'm just going to come here and double click on the gradient bar here. And what I'm going to do is click, use our preset options here of red. And let's use our first one like so. Now you can see on the actual gradient map itself, we've got three color nodes. I want to add one more around this area here. I'm just going to go click in the area there and double click on this option. And I'm going to go for sort of a real sort of yellowy, orangey kind of color. Let's come down a little bit there, let's say around there. We'll do. Let's press OK. And let's press OK. And there you have it, guys. That's how you easily create that gradient map effect within Adobe Photoshop. If you're interested in finding out more about the school, the courses that we offer, please take a look at our website at blueskygraphics.co.uk. Also, as well, there are recordings that are coming out on a weekly basis, so please make sure you take a look. There's some really interesting information across many softwares, including Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign. Thank you very much, guys. Take care, and I'll see you next time.